This is the inside of the bathroom. We've got plantation shutters, which is okay dressed in the inside. Need to have this open at any stage or even during the night to, or during the day to, to let some uh, ventilation through uh, if you've got security problems. This is the outside of the window we just filmed now. We've got a screen we need to go, only needs to go half the distance along because we've got frosted glass. This is the most efficient way to design your security privacy screen. Some of the manufacturers will try and make a cheaper version. They won't go and put a, a, uh, a frame up here. On the side will be a thin frame and then they'll have the louvers showing on either side maybe or if not they're just blanked off. And down the bottom the same deal. You, you won't get one with a, a bottom run. Uh, 400 Australian which is about 300 US. I'm going to put this on a brick wall so it's simple enough. The bottom brackets you only need two. I've already pre-drilled the holes ready for the bolts to go through in the brickwork. Pre-drill just some small tapper screw holes to make it easy to put in because the thickness of the wall thickness of the uh, frame is quite quite big and this is going to be at the top of frame. Now the reason why I did it a whole one three foot one meter length to go right across the top is because we're going to put some silicon down underneath and that's going to and silicon at the back and that's going to waterproof it against well semi waterproof it against the top of the brick so you haven't got annoying rain dripping down the inside of the window these are the best these anchor screws are fabulous um, they don't they don't uh, stuff you up you don't over tighten them you just put on your uh, your socket set and um, after doing um, uh, the, the right size recommended hole um, and they, I just need four for each each frame. Uh, these self tapper um, there's roofing type screws uh, of course we, you don't need the uh, rubber grommet on it so I've set this up now I've already put some silicon on the top frame here ready to um, go down. I'm just going to um, drill through these even though this I've got self tappers that as I say, this, this wall thickness of the frame is quite quite thick so I'm just going to make my job a bit easier. So the two bottom brackets I just showed you, they've got the um, anchor screw already in, pre-drilled holes, uh, put the level up, make sure they're level just inside where the where it's going to sit. So I'm going to put the frame up, the, up on these now and then do the top frame. So I did the hit and miss method for drilling into the bricks, don't know whether you can see that but it's right on the edge of the um, of the brick course, which is no good. There's nothing will hold in there. Um, I'll just get the lip, so I'm going to have to drop it down a couple of inches that way from the top. And um, I'm going to have to reposition these brackets now. Drop. So making the brackets and putting up one man, oh, it'll take about an hour, unless you have some dramas, but these brackets at the bottom hold it fine with screw, self tapers are in it, long ones. Good solid structure. It's going to do the job. So this is the finished job. From the inside now, we've got the plantation shutters that we had before, which are there. Now we can leave this open during the day with getting some aeration into the bathroom and we've got privacy, so it's great, and security.